Hello, I'm David Snowden, the Managing Director of Throwoff Limited. The new management team of Throwoff have embarked upon a continuous improvement programme during the last two years. Our primary aim being to improve the quality of the product, overall customer satisfaction and profitability within the business. In order to achieve our targets, we reviewed and improved each sector within the business, from sales, sales order processing, manufacturing and quality control. Other key factors that have contributed towards the new Fruoff are the supply chain. Fruoff have achieved £1.5 million worth of consignment stock from a varied range of suppliers. Subsequently, we are able to continuously manufacture without any risk of shortages. This makes a massive difference to the line. A recent investment of £200,000 in a new shop bus facility guarantees the chassis substrate is prepared perfectly for the paint process. In October 2012, Fruoff achieved full European type approval. This involved internal testing within all the processes of the business by TUV from Luxembourg. This also incorporated full body brake testing by Myra. Dedicated jigs and fixtures provide accurate consistency on volume runs and the bespoke product. This short video highlights the significant benefits provided with the semi-automated process. Fruhoff are always in complete control of their in-house manufacturing process, from start to finish. A precise manufacturing process means each Fruhoff tipper trailer is built to precise measurements, customer specifications and delivered on time. As 80% of Fruhoff's production processes are automated, production can be stepped up at any time without sacrificing accuracy, consistency or lead time. The weight saving on a Fruhoff tipper trailer can be as much as 250 kilograms. All structural extrusions are unique to Fruhoff and the trailers carry European type approval. Both the chassis and body are precision engineered and uniquely, Fruhoff produced both of these components, completing the process from raw materials at the start to the finished tipper trailer at the end in three weeks. At all times, Fruhoff hold four weeks worth of consignment stock, ensuring parts are always ready to go into production. One month's stock of aluminium extrusions, axles, wheel rims and tyres are all stored here. Fruhoff derive great benefit from being partners with many of their suppliers and this strong relationship means any product can be built in a time frame of just three weeks. The first stage of building the chassis is to use a precise laser cutter to cut the components which form the beams. This laser cutter is an automated computer controlled machine which cuts to within 0.1 mm tolerances. Separate laser cutters and pressing machines are used for cutting aluminium and steel. The high definition plasma aluminium cutter has the capacity to cut lengths of up to 12 meters with a thickness of 35 mm before the components are pressed into shape. The CNC press brake machines press the metal into shape and are capable of pressing metal of length up to 12 meters and CNC machining centers manufacture all machine components for chassis and bodies. Once the component manufacture is complete, they are stored ready to be issued in kits onto the chassis build line. The chassis jigs are built to exact specifications. Here, the beam components are tacked together, checked with a laser level to ensure the fit is correct, automatically welded, after which a hand welding finishing process is applied. All components are built, checked and measured as they are being assembled. Next, they are moved on to the tack welding jig, where the sub-assemblies are assembled into a complete chassis before a final weld is done. These jigs are purpose-built and can be adjusted to take other sizes. After the chassis is tacked together, the final welding is completed. The chassis is now ready for the shot blast area, where it will be fully prepared for painting. The shot blasting process is vitally important to ensure the chassis is perfectly clean, virgin metal ready for paint to be applied. 
The big thing really with shot blasting is it's the most important thing you can actually do for the trade to prepare the substrate. If you don't, you can leave things like mill scale, uh, corrosion, rust that can be on it from the manufacturer. And if it's not removed, unfortunately, when it does come off with the paint on top of it, the whole thing comes off together. So if it's not removed, the adhesion is very, very poor. So I would say it's like building a house. If, if the foundations aren't right, then the whole system is going to be wrong. This is as good, as good a system as any, and the media they're using at the current time uh, gives them a nice fine finish. The chassis is then hung up and painted. Investment in the paint process delivers a guaranteed finish that has been endorsed by paint manufacturers PPG, who Fruhoff work closely with. The exceptional quality of the paint is a core strength of Fruhoff's manufacturing process. PPG have been working with Fruhoff for a long time, um, virtually since they started. There's a full specification in place which talks about film weights, which I was checking earlier on, uh, to make sure there's enough material on there, because if there's not, doesn't matter how good the blasting is, it will go, it will get corroded as the water gets through to it. And what we tend to do is put forward a complete specification for the whole vehicle, both the chassis um, and the bodywork of course, and that includes everything from the blasting we were talking about earlier right the way through to the, to the finished product. The chassis or the body moves through the line in stages, blasted at the beginning, then into primer, and primer flashes off and from there into top coat, um, and then from there straight into the oven for baking. So it's a fu fully cured bake system and about as durable as you can get for this type of vehicle. So all in all, they do it in a very professional manner. Um, there's all sorts of materials that are used, anything from a solid colour um, such as on the chassis to the lovely silver you see behind us, which is a base coat and clear, the same as you would see on any car. Next is the piping and wiring stage, where all electrical components and braking systems are installed and the axles are added to the chassis. This is a relatively quick process, at the end of which quality checks are carried out and the chassis is ready for the body to be added. Fruhoff produced two types of body, the bathtub design and smooth cider design. These are both produced in-house and like the chassis, the process begins with consignment stock being assembled by Fruhoff's team of highly skilled welder fabricators who have a wealth of experience in the heavy engineering industry. The sub-assembly process is where the doors, floors, sides and ribs for the respective body types are precisely cut into shape, tacked together and then components are hand welded on before final welding is completed. For the bathtub design, the sides are made up first, then the floor built from component parts and welded together. The sides are tacked together, the ribs are added and then finally the door. The rib jig former ensures that each rib is a consistent fit and built to specification. The ribs and body are welded together and a finishing weld is done. Finally, the rear door is put on and any other finishing touches are applied. For the smooth cider, two people assemble the floor while the sides are prepared in another bay and are put together after the floor, ready for the door to be added and then prepared for painting. As parts are built to high tolerances, which ensure they are structurally sound, this sub-assembly process is fast and efficient. The body is then moved through the paint shop, where it is subject to a four-stage process, priming, standing, top coating and baking. After being baked at a temperature of up to 80 degrees centigrade, it emerges dry and ready to be joined with the chassis. After the chassis has gone through the piping and wiring stage and the body has come through the paint shop, the body is mounted on top of the chassis, after which it is sent to the sheet fit bay where the top sheet is added. At this stage, the wheels, lights and mud guards and any other bespoke features are also added. The first part of PVI we actually do is take the sales spec from the sales office down onto the shop floor. We go through every line item on the sales spec to make sure that A, the trailer is actually built to customer requirement and B, it actually still falls within regulations which are set by VOSA. Every test we do, whether it's checking the torque settings of a wheel nut to a torque setting on a hanger bracket, every test we carry out here has to comply and every trailer that leaves a site at Grantham has to be road legal and within the full specification set by VOSA. After final PDI tests, stress tests and checks, the tipper trailer 
is ready to be driven away.